In the last presentation, we completed the basics of ASM chart. The ASM stands for the algorithmic state machine and we also did one example of the Mealy state machine. Now in this presentation, I will solve one example of the Mohr state machine. Then we are done with the ASM chart. Here you can see the state diagram and as the output is written inside the state, it shows that the output is only dependent upon the present state and we already know the difference between the Mealy and the Mohr state machines in Mealy. The output is the function of the present state as well as the input. But in more state machine, the output is the function of only the present state, not the input. That's why we write the output inside this circle. And we will try to develop the ASM chart for this state diagram here. And ASM chart is an advanced version of this state diagram. So we have three states in this state diagram, A, C and B. So I will make three state boxes. I hope you remember this state box. It is simple rectangular box. Let's say this is for state A. Similarly, I will make the state box for state B. This is for B. And finally, we have the state box for C this is for C and one thing you have to keep in your mind is the condition box condition box we will not use here because this is the Moore state machine and condition box is only used in the mealy state machine and only when the output is high that's why it is also called as the mealy box so definitely this is going to be easy for us but uh, there is one thing that you have to care for is the input the input is 2-bit here. Let's say input is x, y. This is the 2-bit input and output is z. This is my input and output is z. So this is output. And as the input is 2-bit, we have four possible conditions. The four possible conditions are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So there is definitely a change in the decision box. I will show what is the change. We are on A. Let's see the transition when we are on A. If the input is 0, 0, it means we are going to be on A. Before that, I have to give 2-bit input x, y. And uh, the decision box will look something like this. This is x, 0, 1. Now I will use y here this is y 0 1 and again i will use y 0 1 you can see when x is 0 there are two possibilities for y 0 1 that's why when x is 0 i have used y so that i have 0 0 and 0 1 similarly when x is 1 either y 0 or 1 that's why again we have to use y here and it gives us 1 0 and 1 1 so this is the way to make the decision box when you have the 2-bit input. So this is a new thing to learn. Now you can see when we are having the inputs at 0, 0, we are going to be on A. So simply we will go on A when the input is 0, 0. Now let's see when input is 1, 1, what we got, we will transit to C. So when input is 1, 1, I will go to like this and when input is 0 1 and 1 0 I am going to be at B so simply I will join them because this is 0 1 and 1 0 and I will go to B like this so we are done with a now we will analyze B if I am on B let's see what we got this is 0 0 if the input is 0 0 I will go on the same state I will remain on the same state that is B and uh, for that I have to make the same decision boxes here x then y again y here okay this is 0 0 1 1 0 1 and uh, if the input is 0 0 I will be on B so simply I have to connect it like this and when input is 1 1 I will go on A so if input is 1 1 I'm going to be on A like this okay and uh, if the input is 0 1 or 1 0 I will be on C so again I will connect them 
and give it to C. So we are done with A and B. Now we will see the last state that is C. This is X and this one is Y. Again we will use Y. 0 1 0 1 0 1 and if I am on C the last state and if the input is 0 0 I will be on C so simply I will connect it like this and if the input is 1 1 then I will be on B so I will go on B like this if input is 1 1 and if input is 0 1 or 1 0 I will go to A so I will simply connect it like this okay I will rub this extra part so you can see I have completed the ASM chart for the Mohr state machine and it's very simple we have learned two things the first thing is we have to write the outputs z inside this box z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 because this is the more state machine and the another thing is if the input is of two bits like x y then we have to make the decision box like this to cover all the four possible conditions so this is all that you have to do when someone asks you to make the sm chart for the more state machine i hope it is clear if there is any problem you can ask in the comment section